This week, a driver takes on a mission impossible. Drivers cover the distance to the moon and back every day. He spends five nights a week living in his truck and is known as a tramper. But anything can go wrong. Banners back at base, it's a logistical time bomb. You just keep that load on time, John. Hello guys, it's Sean Toms here, welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a lorry over to Belfast, the first time I've ever taken an Arctic before. All I've ever taken to Ireland is these here rigids, but today is my first time going on a ferry, going across the water, going to Belfast, Ireland with a class one. Just five seconds later, right, all I've done is been running to the jet wash and it is passing it down, man. Oh, this is going to be a good day, I can tell already. There we go, all filled up with all perfect stuff, ready to go to Belfast. Didn't have a chance to kill the lorry, but as for as, at least the tar's off, that's the main thing. Let's get to Perth. I'll, I'll do whatever, I'll be, I'll be fine, I'll, I'll sort, cheers. Oh man, I'm not even part of the site. That was the most stressful experience of my life. So there's two ways in, well there's one way in but I came the wrong way. Um, and there was like four guys at a house, uh, obviously working on the house, and like, oh, who are you here for, blah blah blah, you'll not get turned here, you'll not get through here, all that. And you'll need to reverse back, all that shit. Oh man, then the site manager comes and bollocks me for about 10-15 minutes and I'm standing there, listen, I understand that I've went the wrong way but there's not much I can do now Just let me through and he's bollocking me and bollocking me I'm just standing there like, yeah aye, no aye, good, aye, no that's good Right, so I've been waiting here for about 15 minutes now, the first roller is here oh, Lovely, just gonna double check this is the right one But this is a nice wee light one which we like Man, this is weird there's Gio's truck, man. No, it's LM Transport's truck. There's Gio's truck. He's not here anymore. He's went to work at Paula. That just looks... This is weird, eh? And I saw it coming, I was like, oh yeah, here's George. Don't get anything wrong, he's still Big John, but... This is weird not seeing George in it. There you go. LM. The big favour paver on. Here we are, three rollers. Chained the first one, still left that on, because that's how you get up the alley ramps. So, one down. On that way, the bear mind I've only got six chains, so we've done a wee bit of X factor here. One pulling that way, one pulling that way. Then on this, in the back one, chain pulling back the ways, strap pulling, that oh, chain pulling forward, sorry, strap pulling back. All good to go. Let's boost because we're booked on the half 11 ferry. It's all been changed. Let's get fing going. That is some fing load, eh? Let's get rolling. Oh, it turns out the exit for this road closure is all the way, way back to the way I just came. I thought maybe me that I could just drive out there, enjoy the carriageway, but no, no, it turns out. Oh, well, turns out we've got to go all reverse all the way back, all the way back the way we came, and then join the road there. Sick. <laughs> uh, you can tell it's my first road closure. Here's me just reversing down the A9. Hi, good. I believe I did that, man. Aye, so about 60 miles of reversing, and here's how we join the old carriageway this way. Jesus Christ, man. Anyways, see you all in a bit. We've got a couple of truck spotters we're passing here. I don't know how 
We <laughs> passed the truck spotters, I forgot to fucking <laughs> video that there. Yeah. Alright, here we are, made it to the port. Hi, hey, how's it going? I booked on uh, half 11. What was it? S99 MVE. MVE. Three, Three. Uh, two, two on the back and one big one. You know you're rough weight because that weight bridge just me back. Uh, I'll be 44 tons. I know I'm 20 tons empty, but with them on, I'll probably be about 40 tons. It's uh, Sean Thompson Transport. One of the one of the guys is also bringing a machine down for the half 11. Right. What's the latest he can be here to drop off a machine unaccompanied? Oh, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Nay, later than that. Okay, right, that's fine, no worries. I've got my, I've got spaghetti bolognese here, ready meal. Eh, uh, famous that I got the other day there. But there's a, I know there's a restaurant on this and I quite fancy just, you know, I've got weed truckers lounge, but quite fancy. I've never done Stena Line before. Whenever we see it, we always do P&O uh, with the removals. This is my first time on a Stena Line and I just want to, you know, sample the, the food and that. So I think we're going to make ourselves a quick pot noodle and save ourselves for dinner tonight. Oh, is a jing we even be doing dinner at half eleven? This is 10, sir. It is now 10.31. John's got 29 minutes. All he f makes it. It's no, but it's no dramas to him, eh? If he's late, he just gets to tip it and go home, and it goes on a later ferry, but you always like to make the time you're allotted, eh? But here we are, sitting here, you know, in with the lorries. Geo's just, eh, uh, not Geo, Geo's lorry's just showed up here, so I'm gonna go and help him get his paper off. John's just away loading it in there, made it just in the nick of time while he was away loading that paper. Just gonna quickly tidy the lorry away, put all the Anderson connections away. Put the chains away, put the ramp away, so he can get back up the road because he's still got to do a couple of rollers back to LM's yard as well. Somebody's going to try and help him out. There's a big boat sitting, everything's all tied away. My lorry's sitting over there on the line, just behind that next van. Wait for him to come and then we'll get back in the lorry and get loaded. A couple of, well, a half an hour. Oh, I think we're starting to move here, boys.
to Visible Face Gel. SPF 30, 50 ml, only £14.50, saving you £8.50. Lancaster Sun Beauty Body Milk, 400 Service to you today. Would all vehicle drivers and your passengers please rejoin your vehicles on the car deck now? Oh, there she was there. Fucking close up there as well, aren't you? Well, I'm raging. Didn't realise that was time lapsing rather than recording, but we stopped there in the I don't know if you've seen that. Just tell one of the guys out with the paver machine he didn't know how to start it. I cannot believe you are time lapsing and try. Baby, check it out. See what it's all about. But the traffic This feels a hell of a dodgy, but uh we're here. <laughs> right, so here we are. Gate four. Whatever it is. I can't tell you either. But anyways. Got the gate code here, I've entered it, it is not working. It is 2.30 in the morning, I have to wait, here we are. Just kinda sat at a standstill. I don't know if I break the padlock, um, or if I just sit here and have a nine off, but ideally I don't want that. <laughs> it was the wrong gate code. It's nights like these, this big Milwaukee torch, is going to come in handy. Oh yes. Start some of these fucking machines. So I'm not a fan of this at all, but I've got the winch. That's what I was trained to do. That winch holds it because this will slip on steel. So the winch, I can control the speed. And at the end of the day, if I pull that button off, that winch stops this thing dead. It's fucking scary. Eh? I'm not a fan at all. Me, Christ, boys, we had an absolute cropper there. Hot the metal. And she just started sliding. Now she's a, you know what I mean? She's not hanging off anymore, but it was very close. And instead of trying to fix it myself, well, no, instead of trying to fix it with the power of the machine, I've put a sta snatch block here. We're just gonna drag her back across. And she just hit that metal and just started sliding eh? So I need to bring that back in the room, straighten her back up. And then hopefully we should be good, but that was f***ing sketchy, yeah. Oh, she has come around nicely. Thank you, boys, we are almost there, eh? I f***ing hate rollers, eh? I f***ing hate how slidey these stupid f***ers are. I hate rollers, man. Fucking hate rollers. Oh man, it's off the fucking trailer. Thank Christ. <sighs> right, there she is. They are all unloaded. I 
Proper crush my finger with the ramp, man. It's not until I've taken my gloves off, I've realised just the amount of dried in blood. I don't want to show you because I don't think YouTube will like that, but f me. I dropped the ramp, my finger, and it was gouping. I don't like steel rollers. F steel rollers, by the way. That was the scariest experience of my life, and I'm leaving joking. See, just the fact that, like, you're reversing slowly, right? The winch is holding you. And you're just slipping towards the edge. There's fuck all you can do. You can't put a handbrake on. You can't stop. You can't break. Like the metal's just slipping. Fucking mental, eh? Mental. I was told to put rubber down for for moving stuff with steel wheels and that. But the water had actually got under the mats. I don't know if it's because of a new trailer or a clean trailer or whatever. But the mats were moving with the machine. Mental, eh? That could have went really bad. Thank God. I've got my life. <laughs> oh, jeezy peeps, man. Anyways, I'm gonna get a little nine hour break here and I'll see you all in nine hours. Try to change your mind, trying to save your time. In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list, girl, you can skip this funny business. Cause up there it's complicated and overrated. Down here everything is understated. That's all right by me. I got everything that. Now that we're back at Comet Base, we've got a couple of merch orders with the last of the old stock. If you do want to grab your own, it's sean-domson.com. Uh, there'll be a new design coming out for Truck Fest Scotland this year. But uh, without further ado, just going to get into it. Pack these merch orders up as quick as we can. And uh, yeah, it's funny actually, one of the ones I'm shipping it to, I'm shipping it to Northern Ireland, uh, Newtown Butler. There you go, took me seven seconds to pack all those orders. Thank God. We're just heading to straight in here up the now, uh, and we're just gonna drop our lorry off to get wired up for the rest of the stuff that needs done, so it should get the underglow kit, the rest of the lollipops and all that stuff. All the stuff that was uh, meant to be on the first time we went for wiring, but due to obviously unforeseen circumstances, we'll use big words today, uh, they didn't get done. Uh, I dropped the lorry off during lambing season and the boy that does it is like, like kind of half truck wearer, half farmer. So lambing season comes first, but that's understandable. Um, so hopefully we can get the rest of it done. Oh, here we are. Just need to kind of sort out what we're taking and what we're leaving because it's a bit of a mess in here. But I've been living in it for most of the weeks. So I think it's allowed. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And that was the first time I'd ever taken a class one lorry. Ireland.